Hey gamers, welcome to Gamer Image. In this video, we're going to be covering how to move your data from one linked external hard drive to another one you probably just bought. Stay tuned. If you've been watching any of my past videos, then you know that I am crazy about moving data and trying every way in the world to make your lives easier. And if you recently bought a new external SSD to replace your former USB or even HDD, then you are in the right place. Here, I've created the absolute easiest way to move data from your old hard drive to your new one, and you don't even have to be technical to do it. Here's what you'll need to get started. One, an external drive that you've moved your data to from the C drive and have already created the symbolic link. Be sure to check out this video here if you have an external drive and want to simply move your data onto an external getting it off of your C drive. This tutorial is quick, easy, and requires no technical skills to complete, so go check out that video to save space on your C drive. 2. Admin Privileges For this to run smoothly, you'll need administrator privileges. On both Windows 10 and 11, you can quickly check if your account has administrator privileges by following these steps. One. Open the Settings app. Click in the Windows search bar and type Settings. Click the Settings app that appears in the list. 2. Navigate to Accounts. In the Settings window, select Accounts. 3. Select your info. On the left sidebar, click on Your Info. 4. Check Account Type. Under Your Account, you'll see Your Account Type. If it says Administrator next to your account name, you have administrator privileges. Alternatively, you can also use the control panel to check your account type. 1. Open control panel. Type control panel in the Windows search bar and open it. 2. User accounts. In control panel, select user accounts. 3. Change account type. Click on change your account type. 4. Check account type. You'll see a list of user accounts on your computer. If your name is listed as an administrator, then you have administrator privileges. The third thing you'll need is to connect both hard drives to the machine. And finally, number four, this awesome program called Move My Data Out. Check out the description below to get your copy of this amazing nifty little app I created. So, back in the day, whenever you had to move your data from one hard drive to another, after you created a symbolic link from your documents electronic arts folder, you had to cut and paste or copy and paste the entire set of mods, CC, saves, etc. from one hard drive to another. Then the hard part came, making the data on your new external work on your game. You then had to watch a video again to figure out how to do all this linking and recreating the link so that it points to the new drive. Well, say goodbye to that forever. I have been hard at work making yet another tool to make life so much easier for all my simmers out there. And I know you guys just want to get it done, not just follow some tutorial and have to spend hours doing something that shouldn't take but a few minutes. And that's why I created Move My Data Out. Let's check it out. First, make sure you have both your hard drives, the one you're using for your sims currently, and the new one you got plugged into your computer. It's a really simple tool where all you have to do is... We'll open it up, really. <laughs> and there's a prompt that will tell you exactly what it'll do. It will scan your current symbolic link, find where it's pointing to, grab that location, and if you have another hard drive plugged in, all you have to do is select it from the list and then hit enter. It'll ask if all the changes that you want to make look correct. After you hit yes and then hit enter, the process happens for you automatically. All of your files are copied from your old hard drive to your new one, completed, and then an automatic symbolic link is created for you to the new files on your new external drive. No more waiting or watching videos trying to move your data from one hard drive to another. No, in this video with this tool, you get to have all of this done automatically with absolutely no time wasted. So, there are some things to note here. One. I built this program to be as fast as possible. That means that I didn't use things like progress bars or estimated time remaining counters because these calculations between copies can increase the time it takes to complete the entire job due to processing power. 
Two, movement is progress. As long as the files are constantly in motion, assuming a file hasn't been stuck for a couple of hours, that's usually a good thing. Most mods are fairly small in size and you should seek pretty constant motion. Three, times to move your hard drive may vary based on several factors, including hard drive speed, if you're copying from a much slower USB stick or even external HDD, this can cause long copy times. Computer trash capacity. If your computer is already slow, then this will only take longer. In this case, I would recommend taking both of your external drives over to a friend's house and use the program on Amanda's blazing fast computer. USB type. Some USB drives come with a smaller connection known as a USB-C connector. These are typically very fast in comparison to USB 3.1 connectors that are blue at the tip. If you're using USB 2.0, then this could be very lengthy. USB 2.0 uses tips that are not blue. They may be white or black, but are never blue. These have the slowest transfer speeds. Try to avoid these if at all possible.